Good day, guys. Good day to you all. Welcome back to the Formula Sports channel. Thanks for being here. Gentle reminder to smash the like button, subscribe if you're new, free and easy ways to support the channel. So, a post was made by Darren Mattox, right? Initially, I had seen the, 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 the post because if memory serves me right, somebody sent it to me, right? Somebody sent the post to me, right? And it involved a post on Darren Mattox's Instagram where he, it was a, I think if memory serves me right, it was a showing a goal that he scored or some highlights of him in the, in the Gold Cup, if memory serves me right, right? And I was watching the highlights and I was enjoying the highlights, right? Now, if memory serves me right, I even liked the post. But I didn't read the caption, right? You know, the caption that, you know, when, when you when the, the words where you talk, you know, below the, the post, whether it be a picture or a video, I didn't read the caption, seeing I only watched the video. So watch the video, because as I said, if memory serves me, somebody sent it to me. Watch the video, saw the video. You know, it was it was a it was some good highlights from Darren Mattox, right? We all remember Darren Mattox in his heyday. He was a decent player. Liked it. Never, never even thought of of of, of reading the caption, right? Now I see I see some videos being made by other vloggers and. Truth be told, I didn't even watch the videos, to be honest with you, because I've been a little bit busy, a little bit busy in recent times. So I didn't even really get a chance to watch those videos. And But I picked up that something was amiss in terms of, you know, I realized, I think I, I think I clicked on somebody doing a live. I don't remember who was doing the live, though, right? And I noticed that they were talking about it, right? And they were making mention of this post made by this player on his Instagram. So me said so bomb now. I mean, go up on my Insta um, and I went on Instagram and you know looked for the player's Instagram and looked at the Instagram page. And I realized the post was deleted. Right? So me never me never get to see what the big hellabaloo was all about. Right? It came up in my live earlier today, you know, just come off my live as a matter of fact. And while going through Twitter, I saw, by the way, big up to military guna, right? I saw military guna, right? You know, he had screenshotted the, 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 the post with the caption and everything made by the player, right? You guys see the, the, the thing on the end of the screen, disgracefully divisive. Let me read what Mattox said in the post. One thing we know by the hands of God, when we serve, the hands of the God when we serve, may I play in a CONCACAF teams of a feeling. Canada kept their team or system together for years and now leading with 22 points. And as for us, or should I say now them, joking. Let, let me read some of the, the comments from other footballers who commented under the post. Romario Williams said 100%. Only Fisher said Fox 100%. We don't need glasses to see what I want them divide with for Kankawi. Kemal Malcolm have fire emojis. Haka said Fox bro clear as day 2017. Bridging. This the 2017, the 2017 team that went to the Gold Cup um final could not, could not get us to Qatar. Could not. For starters, a lot of those players have fallen off. Right? This is honestly, this is this is a disgrace. 
as I said, you know, I, I, I didn't comment on it because I never, when I, as, as I said, when I went on Instagram and I looked for the post, I never see it. So I said, all right, me, 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 you know, I can't comment on something. And I never, like, as I said, I never really realized what the player had said. Right? I'd literally just, like, 10, 15 minutes ago, from my life, me, me, me see what the player actually said. This level of toxicity, right, is disgraceful. And you know why I'm very upset? Yo, and the first time Matak says something like this, you know, it's not the first time this player has said something like this, right, that can create division, you know, within the ranks, you know. First of all, the likes of Matak, the likes of, of Fisher, the likes of Hacker, the likes of Tool. Men I mean for be offensive, but uno not ready for this thing. Uno not ready for this thing. Uno couldn't get you to Qatar, and that is facts. Uno couldn't get you to Qatar. Matter who does Matax expect to be in the squad over? Because all that is taking place you know, is that Matax is not in the squad and him begs. Who Matax expect for inner the squad over? Mikel Antonio, Kima Roof, right? Andre Gray, players that have proven goal scoring pedigree at a much higher level than Matax has ever done it. Shamar Boza Nicholson, we are tear up Belgian Pro League. A Dembala, you want in the squad over. What? You are not entitled to a place in the squad, right? No player is entitled to a place in a national team squad. We respect and we admire your contributions over the years, right? You did relatively well for us, even though a whole heap of goal you missed, to be fair. Every striker missed goals, yes, but you miss goals, you miss sitters, right? And you miss goals, you miss more than other strikers. Let's put it that way. See, but we still rate and respect Matax as a baller. But my thing is, Belgian, not even in your prime, you could have stuck up to them baller. Yeah. Not even in your prime, the 2017 World Cup team could, could not get us to Qatar. They would have performed even worse than what we have seen in this World Cup qualifiers. Right? This lashing out against UK ball play. When, when him say, Or, and as for us, or should I say now them? What do you mean by them? What do you mean by them? Why are you a goddess of virgin coming from such an influential player? Right? A past reggae boy who could very much at some point in time in the future, excuse me, feature for the national team. Very possible. I personally don't support it, but very possible. Seen, boss. This is just such an unnecessary comment and such a dangerous comment, right? When these players say, and then man like, look how much of the foreign, look how much of the UK born players, look how many of the UK born Jamaicans are big up hack up on him birthday and I heal up hack up on him birthday. The whole of them seem to the rate and respect hacker, and then them, them see. Hacker says something like this under a post, under under this kind of a post. Virgin, this, this this is just such a this is such a bad look. Is this the sort of energy that is taking place in the national team when the UK born um Jamaicans come to play for us? This is the sort of energy. Is 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 it a case where? They have an issue with the lateness of their arrivals. In all fairness and in all truthfulness, a lot of the times these UK-born players arrive late on the eve of the World Cup qualifiers or even during the World Cup qualifiers. It's not their fault. Or the JFF want to talk, talk about that. The JFF needs to do better, right, in, in getting these players in, you know, as quickly as possible, right? Getting them in in a timely manner. The, the time when them did have the friendly done in Austria, when them never have no baller, 
for play the friendly at that time, them run go for pinnock and all of them ball of them. Man, this is just, this is embarrassing, man. This is how so many of the local born players feel about the, 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 the UK born players. And nothing more than this, this honestly, this reeks of envy. Them want to in the World Cup qualifying squad and them back said them not in it. Right? The fact of the matter is, if you were good enough, you would be in it. Canada assembled their best team. That's what Canada did. We were assembling a team right up to the World Cup qualifiers. That was not our best team on paper. Whose fault is that? Whose fault is that? Honestly, man. Could this have an impact, right, on future arrivals? What when these, what when, what when the light, when these players are heal up, a cup on him strong, and see how can do this? What am I gonna go? What am I gonna say when them go back to England? How them I gonna feel? Them I gonna feel stabbed in the back, unwelcomed, unwanted. What are they going to say when, when, when I'll, when I'll? I mean, look how Marlon King retire. And he's actively seeking to try and get players, you know, speaking to players, UK born players to come and play for. When when the next generation is talking to the likes of Antonio and talking to the likes of, of Pinnock, etc., etc., what are they going to say? Honestly, man, this is disgracefully di divisive. And and honestly. It, it it honestly feels it, it it honestly feels like xenophobia. This honestly reeks of xenophobia. Look, me beat UK born players when them forget beat, you know. Like for instance, me beat them Ari Grainer, you know, right? Because I have said it. How can you be applying for a Jamaican passport while you do and you're, you're doing interview talking about you want to play for England? But let's be clear. Is not you cannot you cannot you cannot throw a blanket over everybody. You do indeed have UK born players that really want to represent the country, and that is facts. Dunson Clark Harris been saying it for years. Anthony Grant, oh yeah, you, you cannot doubt the commitment of Anthony Grant. What is the issue with UK born players? The ones who really want to come and play for us. They have all right to come and play for us. But Uno no want them in the squad, none at all. Why? Because Uno fears that they will displace you. Look, I sympathize with you guys to a certain extent because you guys, you guys had the talent. You guys have the talent. If it was a case where you guys were exposed to the same sort of development, probably who knows, you guys could have been even better footballer. Footballer, so I sympathize and I understand why I might a little upset, but still, man, this is not in the best interest of our nation's football. If you really and truly care about Jamaica's football, statements like this will only destroy Jamaica's football. Statements like this is not in the best interest of Jamaica's football, and it will not help Jamaica's football. So do you really care about Jamaica's football? When you're, when you're trying to generate this sort of divisiveness within the team, within the national setup, and it's not the first time this player has done it. He has done it before. Guys, I think I've done enough ranting. This is a disgrace. This is a disgrace. Honestly, man. And the mere fact that so many other um, local born players are co-signing this. But then again, notice a pattern is mostly those that have been squeezed out in recent times. I wonder how the ones in the current in the in the current setup feel about it. Feel about the UK born players. But guys, take care and stay safe.